Okay, for this wreath, I had already had this uh, base done because that's what I do sometimes. I make up, up a whole bunch of them at one time. I have 18 uh, pipe cleaners on here. I cut my mesh at 12 inches. Most of the mesh came from Hobby Lobby with the exception of this um, window pane, gold, yellowish looking mesh. I got that from uh, Craft Outlet. These are the ribbons that I'm going to use in this wreath. Uh, these right here, this po big polka dot came from Craft Outlet, as well as this sunflower. This buffalo check with the brown and the ivory came from Sam's. Uh, these, both of these came from Hobby Lobby. This came from Craft Outlet and this came from Hobby Lobby. And so since I have 18 pipe cleaners, I'm going to cut six of each of these, this set, this set, this set. And then that is what I'm gonna put into the wreath so that I have 18 bundles. In one of the ribbon bundles, I'm going to uh, put some of this raffia. Now, I like this raffia from Walmart right now, and uh, I just make little knots in it, and then that is going to give me uh, just a little bit of country wispy that I like for my wreaths. And this is how the wreath looks with all of the ribbon put in the ties and uh, the raffia and stuff. And so for the sign, I am using this sign that I picked up from Hobby lobby it says when life hands you lemons squeeze them into your sweet tea and being from texas i love my sweet tea anyway so what i'm going to do is uh just you know put that sign on there and uh it's going to be perfect for this sweet rustic country wreath and i really wasn't thinking because of this particular sign had these metal hangers on it i could have just used the um you know pipe cleaner threaded it through it just to attach but i already had those glued down and uh so anyway i just wanted to kind of share that along if your sign has little holes in it then you can just use that anyway i will thread these pipe cleaners through the wreath and then for accent i'm going to add some of these sunflowers as well as some of these daisies now both of these came from michael's and what i decided to do i'm not going to use any of the greenery uh, on either one uh, just because, you know, this is a more subtle, rustic wreath and I don't want to uh, add any of the greenery. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to see how it looks. Um, but I'm just going to put a steel pick on the end of these. And what I like to do uh, just for, you know, my wreaths and glue that in there just for extra stability and protection. Another thing I'm going to add are some of these faux lemons to my country style rustic wreath. Now I picked these lemons up at Hobby Lobby and there are 16 in this pack. There are three different sizes, the large, the medium, and the small ones. And I'm just going to add them, I'm gonna add a skewer to them and then be able to stick them into my wreath. And this is how the wreath turned out once I got all of the beautiful sunflowers and the daisies. I got the lemons stuck in there. And again, what I did is I just, you know, put a dowel in the lemons and then I used my glue pot. I have a uh, glue pot melter. Uh, it's just a skillet that you can get at Walmart or something like that. It's a little small one. If it comes with a lid, throw the lid away because you don't need it because it's going to be uh, just, it'll stick together. Anyway, so I just use Gorilla Glue Sticks. That's my glue of choice anyway, and then just put everything together. Um, I also like to put a still pick on my flowers, and then I glue it in between the deco mesh just to make sure that everything is secure. 
as I do with almost all of my wreaths. I add um, a hanger on the back of it in the middle uh, using this grapevine wire. You can get it in different colors. Uh, I get mine from Hobby Lobby. Uh, Amazon has it as maybe uh, as well as maybe Michael's. And then I like to cover the back of my wreaths with uh, placemats. And these particular ones came from Hobby Lobby in the fall season. Uh, I got them you know, I got a whole bunch of them, especially when they were on sale and clearancing them out. Anyway, and then I just attach this placemat uh, to the wire all the way around, uh, just in different places, just so that everything ties in together and looks really neat on the back as well.